Microsoft Office 2010, Complex Functions 3. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the round function. The round function will round a number off to the specified number of decimal places as defined by the user. So firstly, let's use a round function in column E to round the average price of books. Okay, so I'm going to type in equals round, open brackets, and I'm going to select the number that I would like to round off. And I'm going to put in my comma, and I'm going to say I want zero decimal places. Okay, and press enter. I'm just going to use autofill to copy this down. And I want you to have a look at the difference between the two here. Okay, so over here we've got 159.56. Okay, and you might argue, but why didn't we just use the decrease decimal button on our ribbon? Okay, so let's do that, and you'll see that the output looks the same. The difference is, however, that when you use the round function, the actual value of cell E2 is now 160. If I click on cell D2, where I just use the decrease decimal, and you have a look at your function bar here at the top, the value is still 159.56. Okay, so that's the difference. You're not really changing the value of the number when you use decrease decimal. You're just changing the way it displays on the screen. So I'm just going to change that back. Okay, right, now we're going to get the average of all these prices. So I'm going to use equals average, and I'm going to highlight all the averages of the prices um, for the books that they've read, and I'm going to display my average here. Okay, now, uh, your round function can be used in conjunction with other functions as well. Okay, so I'm going to insert the round function over here, open bracket, to basically encapsulate this average function. And then at the end, put in my comma, and I'm going to say 2, seeing that it is um, currency, so it will display 2 decimal places anyway. Okay, but you can specify other decimal places if you were working with other number formats here. Okay, so it's important to note that you can insert almost any other function here, average, sum, min, max, that kind of thing, you can insert into your round function and then use the round function to round your, uh, round your totals. Okay, uh, there's also two variants of the round function, uh, round up and round down. So the only difference would be here where it says round, you would actually go and type in round up or round down and use that accordingly.